What's up, everybody, and welcome back to another episode of Storytime with Mr. Death himself. That's right, I got two people telling stories today. Uh, the first man, he is from Jersey, okay, and he is going to be sentenced on January the 11th, this Friday, coming up to eight years in prison. So we're going to go into his mind and see what he's thinking about. All that good stuff. And we also have someone from Carolina telling a crazy story from when he was younger about getting in the mix with one of his friends. But anyways, if you enjoy this video, please do not forget to hit the like and subscribe button. Check out all the links in the description of the video as well. If you want to buy some merchandise, add me up on all the social media, Twitch, Twitter, Instagram. And do not be shy to hit me up and let me know on Instagram and my direct message if you have a wild and crazy story that you would like to get off your chest. I got a lot of people have been telling me they want to get on there, so bear with me. I'm trying to get to y'all as soon as possible. But I'm having fun doing this. I'm having fun doing this, and I hope y'all are having as much fun as me listening to these stories. You know what I mean? We can learn a lot from people that are going through situations in life. Just remember, if you're struggling out there, ladies and gentlemen, if you're struggling with any kind of depression, drug use, Anything along those lines, you know, get locked up or just a relationship problem. I can guarantee you will hear something along those lines in these stories to come. But I hope you enjoy and please, by all means, go get your milk and cookies because story time is about to begin. All right, man, what's up, man? What's up with you, man? How you doing? I'm doing pretty good, man. What's your name? Where are you from? My name is Eric Plumbo. Uh, I go by Epic. I'm from New Jersey, South Jersey to be specific. Jersey, around like, man, that's what's up. Yeah, ten minutes from Philly, right, right around the bridge, right off. You know, that's what's up, man? I was I was out there not too long ago. I don't know if you saw that uh, little episode when we went out to Philly, but uh, I love it out there, man. Jersey and Philly area, I love it out there. Yeah, when when you out in Jersey, it's like you know the the suburbs of Philly, so it's more in the cut. It, it, it's more chill, but the environment is one of a kind, you know. Yeah, that's the people, what's up. The, uh, the energy, one of a kind. I know that's right, man. So, uh, you on? Uh, what do you got for me today, man? You don't mind going on YouTube, do you? No, nah, I mean I'm already on there, so I don't really mind. Oh, you are, man. Well, you got a YouTube channel. Uh, I, I got a YouTube channel not for uh, like the same situation as you, but I do music, a little bit of music here okay, and there. Okay, well, you want to give it a shout out really quick? What's your channel uh, name? At, yeah, it's Music Crave Entertainment. That's Music, music Crave music. Entertainment. Yeah, entertainment, but you can put Music Crave ENT. Add it on uh, YouTube. It'll come up. You'll see it'll say MCE, the little uh, profile pic, you know. Okay. Click on it. The link's up there. I go by Epic Astro Living. That's what's up, man. All right, so you, uh, what do you got for me? You got a street story, jail story? What do you, you've been locked up? What's up? It all kind of intertwines. I mean, if you got a jail story, chances are you was in the streets. So yeah. it, it kind of intertwines. But yeah, I had, uh, I'm currently right now, you want me to just get into it? Yeah, go ahead, man. Like, Tell me, speak your mind, man. Right. Just, just, uh, if it's like any kind of open case or anything, you know, just try to be. You know well, what I got, I mean? by saying this, I got sentencing on Friday. So you got the sentencing case, on Friday. Yeah, I go, I go, I, I got sentenced to eight flat. I got an eight flat starting on Friday. Okay, so, so uh, you're, fa you're facing uh, eight years. Yes, eight years flat, which doesn't automatically mean I'm going to do a whole eight years in prison. But um, up until I can get parole, you know, till I'm accepted to parole, twelve to eighteen months. That's probably about the time I'll be spending inside, you know, inside the facility. I will start from a uh, County, you know, they send you to county, and then out here, the way they do it is they transfer you up to North Jersey, which is Trenton area. They process uh, process you to see if, like, you know, if you're part of gangs, uh, where you lie on the spectrum, your level of, you know, your crime, to see where they're gonna put you, and then they yeah. bring you and send you to the prison you're gonna stay at for the rest of the remainder of your time. Yeah, kind of like uh receiving we call it receiving over here in virginia i don't know if that's what they call it, uh like intake process stuff like that yeah exactly that all right so it's, you took so the you took a plea bargain it's it's a max of eight years flat 
Yeah, yeah, I, I had took a plea bargain. Originally, I was charged with, on my original charge, um, it was, I believe, April 8th, April 9th. You can look my name up, go into it. I know people might be like, oh, you don't know. But April 8th, April 9th, my house was actually, uh, I woke up to a, a flash grenade going off in my house. The, uh, the SWAT team had, you know, came to my crib at 6 in the morning. I was, they they raided it. They, you know, they they use one of them things, they bah, bah, yeah, yeah. then knocked the door down, threw the grenade in. When I was arrested, you know, they took me up there. They took me and two people in my family. I, I can't really say the names, but two yeah. people. Did, was there kids in the house? No kid. I mean, I got my sister, but she's 17. You know what I'm saying? Okay, so, okay. No kids. I had. I have two pit bulls, though. They was kicking my cage. I had a puppy in the one because my one dog, they were like, yeah, we got them out back. I was like, no, I got two pit bulls, bro. They're like, oh, there ain't another dog in there. Well, my mother at the time, you know, she she went in the room. She's like, he's in the cage. They was kicking the cage around. To this day, if he hears a loud noise, he'll, like, start looking around all crazy, you know, get get more uh, defensive, I guess. Yeah, man, it might have scarred him a little bit. Yeah, but not getting off track. I got... You they came to my house. The whole reason why they came when I went up there, you know, they asked me like, you know, uh, do you want to give your side of the story? And any situation, if you guys are in that situation, I would suggest. I don't know what Death would tell you guys, but my opinion is just keep your mouth shut. If they ask if you want to give your side of the story, if you don't have an attorney present, keep your mouth shut. So they they asked me. I told them, look, I'm not trying to be, you know, ignorant, give you guys a hard time, anything like that. But I'm not comfortable with answering any questions without an attorney present, you know. And they said, okay, right from there, I didn't get questioning. But since I didn't, you know, do a, oblige with them, they say, uh, yeah, we're hitting you with first degree armed robbery. You're getting conspiracy to armed robbery and theft of a CDS. So they were my three original charges. CDS, what's that? A controlled dangerous substance. Okay. Yeah. So they they are trying to. Uh, they're they trying with theft of it. Yeah, they are trying to hit me with theft of it. They they actually hit me with armed robbery, conspiracy to the uh, to conspiracy to this crime, and then theft of a CDS. Which, if you know what a CDS is, a controlled dangerous substance is anywhere from what well, you know what it is, but yeah. people, it's it. it it's it's a drug, you know. It's yeah. it's any drugs. Any drugs that's not legalized by the state or the country is considered controlled, dangerous. Doesn't matter what kind. It it just is what it is. See, I mean, I never like understood why they give people a charge for the crime and then they'll give you conspiracy for the same crime. Me neither, bro. The only no sense, man. I never understood the whole conspiracy thing, but you know, it, a lot of and people get hemmed up. Sometimes they get more time for the conspiracy than the original charge you know for the and, and yo, that was the thing not to cut you but just for that first degree conspiracy is what was holding me for accountable for prison time the, not the armed robbery situation they hit me with armed robbery i told you they came to my house they raided my house originally it was a, a, a warrant for a weapon they they somebody had told them i had an ar-15 you know what I'm saying? So they came, they cut my bed in half, yada, yada, yada. They came to my house, never found no weapon, never left with no they drugs. Cut the bed you okay? in half. They cut the bed in half, looking for it, yes, the, the box spring. They cut it in half to see if I was stashed assault rifles in there. What the hell they cut and it open with? Shit, at the, at, the, at the moment, I was in, out front in the police car, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. My girlfriend. That they're relaying the messages to me as I got out. I'm guessing they just used it straight up, you know, maybe like a knife they had on them. Just cut okay. it because I still have the mattress, but the bottom of it is split. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like the uh, I'm a, the uh, box spring is just ripped open. Like they did they did the most, but yeah, they they charged me with the eight years, and I from there I went in the uh, I went in the county from there. So yeah. Six days before my birth, or six days after my birthday, uh, happy birthday to me because I'm doing eight years, you know. Well, not eight years. I don't want to sound like I'm doing eight years, but they they gave me eight years. So at most, I'll be facing eight, you at know what I'm saying? At least you know what you're facing at most. Exactly. That's what I'm kind of, you know, blessed about, you know, yeah. that I have.
these state already. I'm not just stressing. I mean, I've been on house arrest since April. So just that alone, I don't know if you guys can see this. This right here. Yeah, we see it. Yeah, I've been on been on this ankle bracelet since since April. So the I've had no, you know, it's it's pretty much like being locked up. The only contact I have with outside is social media and, I mean, the the regular stuff. Yeah. How was uh, County in Jersey, man? <laughs> yeah. I mean, it's. It, I guess it's like county everywhere. It's just, man, the junkies. The junkies are crazy in county. They uh -huh. will do anything. A lot like of gang I, activity in there. You say gang activity? Um, yeah, you get, you get. I mean, around here, it's majority bloods. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, you same got, down here. Same down here. Yeah, you get, you get the majority of the bloods, but it's more like in Camden, they, they, they run off blocks. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, so yeah. you might five guys from. Let's just say uh, Parkside plot. You know what I'm saying? So these guys, they all hustle together. So they're their own little clique in there. And then you might have these guys from, we'll just say, downtown. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And then they hustle. But overall, when it comes to the actual politics, it's, you know, the Spanish stay with the Spanish. Blacks stay with the blacks. Whites stay with the whites. And you got a lot mingling in between. But do it's they, not. Do they, like, do trade sometimes with each other and stuff like that? Um. Yeah, you get the trade, like. I mean, once you get the population, I didn't make it the population when I first went in that time, but I was in intake, which is four days is lockdown, 23 hour lockdown. Okay. Okay. 23 and one, huh? You said what? Yeah. 23 and one boy. I know that's 20. right. <laughs> yeah, That's why I was like, yeah. All right. You sit in there, you know, but you, you get your little, you, you get your little things like, you know, people trade, they, they mainly trade foods in the first lockdown, you know, the first seven day lockdown. But, uh, the one good thing is what we're going in there. If you got the junkies, you always want one of them as your celly cause they don't eat. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah. Of course, I, of course. I told a story about that before them, them dudes, man, when they're coming off, coming off, uh, whatever they're on, they don't want to eat nothing, man. Not at all. They just lay in bed. They just stay in a fetal position the whole time. Yeah. You want to probably hear like two words from them. Yeah. Other than that, it's, I mean, if they're running to the bathroom all the time, it, it it gets, but you understand, you know what I'm saying? If they're going through, but hey, I mean, if they're giving me that tray, just them extra meals in there, that that's that's a blessing right there. Hey, it's another kind of hungry in jail, ain't it? Ooh, I'm telling you. And you, you don't even like the food, but you'll scarf it. Yeah. yeah. You don't even have to like it, but that I say my thing probably in there is what had to be the sloppy joke. Don't taste like nothing, but it's the closest to looking normal. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Sloppy yeah. Joe. We had sloppy Joes too. We had yeah, sloppy they Joes. salt packet and a little pepper packet with it. Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah like I swear, my celly, he was uh, in love with milk with sugar in it. I kept realizing breakfast, like I'm like yo. How come he keeps getting sugar with his cereal and grit? And I'm I'm looking at my plate and I'm like I don't got no no uh, sugar. The whole time he was, he was a sugar fiend. I don't know if he just loved sugar or something, but he would put it in his milk. His teeth were all rotted out, but he would just like it was chocolate milk. Knock him yeah. back. Yeah, the little cartons he would save them from breakfast. They'll be warm, but he just adding sugar to it and down them. Uh -huh. I was like, <laughs> I'll be like, let me get the cookie, the little cornbread. Cause you know when you're hungry, in the middle of the night, that cornbread will be loved. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, that, that's that's for sure. When when it's time to go to bed, that's when you're hungry the most sometimes. That yeah, that, that that's facts. That's facts. That's that's probably what I get the hungry. So I eat that cornbread and then down like two cups of the water. Yeah, and lay down and fight them little stomach pains. I know that's right, man. Yeah, man. But, but uh, so you're facing eight years, and you yes. go to court when? I go to court January 11th, this yeah. Friday. Oh, this Friday. And you yep. might not come out. I'm not coming out. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I'm not going to laugh or nothing, but you're not. Now, yeah, at least you right. know you're not. I got T-shirts ready to go. I got my book, you know what I'm saying, my authorized. They, let you, in with white, they let you in with whites? Yeah, yeah. And, and Camden, they do. We got, like, we got, where I'm from there, Salem County. And then you got Camden County. You know, if you get in trouble near the hood, you're going to the hood jail. Yeah. You're getting cut. And then Salem's more like a cut. Like, it's a mix between suburbs and, like, city. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. a 
where I live is more open area. You know, you got little towns, but open areas. So, yeah, they don't they don't allow all that. But Camden, you get your thermals. You can come in with, you know, a uh, uh, white thermal, whatever, or uh, a, a tea, yeah. tea or white. I made Bikini. a video. Uh, I made a video on like what people should do before they go to jail, and that was one of the main things I said. Make sure you got plenty of whites on, because most places yeah. let you in with whites. I uh, seen that year. The one video, the top, the top things uh, any newbies should know, or something like yeah, that, right? Something on that. I can't remember the title uh, exactly, but yeah. So you're going in on Friday, man. Hey, look. It it kind of you know. Uh, you can ask yourself this though: If you're going in on Friday and you know you're not coming out, I'm not telling you to do this or nothing. But me, no. me personally, if I know I'm going to jail and I'm turning myself in on Friday, I'm gonna be cutting that damn bracelet off, man. <laughs> I'm going to party for I'm going to party for the last two days or something, man. You ain't lying, brother. You ain't. <laughs> Yeah, I ain't gonna lie. I, I contemplated. I thought about it. But look, example: I get in the shower, two in the morning, two in the morning. I got in the shower. I couldn't sleep by two thirty a.m. They said they had a trigger on my bracelet. They was knocking, doom, 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 middle of the night. Dude. Yeah, on it, on it out here. So I'm like, yo, if I were to do that, I probably got like two minutes to skedaddle. You know yeah, what I'm you saying? To get up out of there fast. But I'm not saying to do it, man. Don't do it. I'm just saying, me personally. Oh yeah, you you know you know as a if any real one that's gonna run through their mind. You yeah, gonna, yeah. Do I really want? I'm well, sitting you here. Got a girl, right? You said, do I have a girl? You got a girl? Oh yeah, yeah. Okay, well you better make sure she take care of you before you get in there, dog. Oh, and, <laughs> you know, last week been crazy. I feel like rabbit over here. I know that's right, man. You better eat some good food and just be. You know, mm -hmm. yeah. make sure you get all the pen pals ready, all that stuff. You know what I mean? That's that's all I've been trying to do, brother. Like I'm just trying to prepare. I'm trying to turn a negative to positive. I know the time's coming. You know I can run from it, but then it's something I'm going to run from. For you know I don't want to have to keep looking over and like, yo, is is this my time? This is my time. So I'm just ready to take that response. It's it's beat not knowing how much time I'm gonna be there. Whether you know if they're like oh the 12 months or eight years or whatever. But the fact that you know after watching. Even watching your video channel, the, some of the stories you told, there's people doing life, yeah. 25, you know, 25, 30 years. And it, it, it makes me count my blessings to know I have a release date. And you're you know? young, man. You're young, 24. Yeah, just you're turned 25. You're in a, yeah, and happy uh, late birthday, man. Uh, yeah. You're in a really good position, bro. Really good position to get this stuff done and over with and, and really make something of it. You know, you can come out. And crank out a YouTube channel. Yeah, that, that, you're you know, gonna have plenty of content. <laughs> my, my motivation is right in front of me, man. I appreciate you even giving me this opportunity because, yeah. like, I, me and my wifey, we sit down, I'm like, yeah, I'm watching. So, what you? I'm like, twenty three and one, man. That yeah. lockdown. So Get you your stay mind ready, man. Yeah, she's like, you're about to go. Why are you watching it? Like, you, you. What? I was like, look, he, he, he spreads. The information that you need to know. I mean, I, I've been in there before, but for little, little biz. You know, I never, I'm, I never did prison time, and to have somebody that really experienced it and, and is giving real talk, I can tell you, you know, real when you see it, and the yeah. way you see about it, you're not glorifying it. You're not, you know, you're not telling kids that's what you want to do or nothing. You're telling them the truth of the matter, what it is. You know what I'm saying? I, like what you see on TV, you know, it's nothing like that unless I guess you're in some hard places. But most of the time, everybody just it's about a respect thing. Yeah, everybody. It, it does come down to respect, uh, you know, but you always get tested, uh, you know, but people pick and choose. And honestly, I don't think they would pick you to test. You know, I think they're going to pick someone. There's a lot more weaker individuals in prison right, than, right. than people think. You know what I mean? Uh and People think that the only ones in prison surviving are the strong individuals, but it's not. There's weak, weak yeah. people that ain't been in the street life, and they're still surviving just fine in prison. You know what I mean? Right. But I can tell you this, man. Don't let anyone tell you otherwise. What you're doing is right. you got to get your mind ready for what you're doing. So watching my content, watching shows on it, anything, 
get your freaking mind right, block out the streets beside your yep. wife, your family, everything else. That's what I've been nothing, doing. Because you're about to go into that world and that you have to transform your whole freaking way of thinking. Turn it into, it's going to be one big chess game, man. You know what I mean? I mean that's exactly how I've been. It's not checkers, man. It's, ch it's strategic. Yeah, it's, it's, so just I, what you're doing is good, man. Getting your mind right and just uh, thank you. preparing, man. Preparing. Yeah. I pre because like like I said like I, I've been around you know what I'm saying but I've never did full time and I'm just trying to I'm just trying to get the ropes that's I'm kind of putting myself I, I'm looking at it like going into a fight you know you don't you don't think about what's going to happen you think about what you're going to do to them but I'm just preparing myself for everything I'm hoping for I'm prepared for the worst and hoping for the best so right now my mindset even though I know I'm not going to do that much, I'm ready to do eight years you know yeah. what I'm saying I'm ready so anything under that even if it's Seven years and five months, you know what I'm saying? I would be happy because I'm prepared to when I don't want to say prepared because I won't be prepared to actually get in there, but I am ready yeah. to you know go ten toes down and put my put my uh you know my 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 nose down, put my put my just my my myself on the line, man, yeah. and and out what's behind me. You know, I, I'm trying not to like I don't know. For a little bit, I thought maybe I'm going. I thought maybe this uh, house arrest was like isolating me. Like I'm getting anti-social because I started like not dissing my friends, but I would tell them like, "Yo, I'm not trying to be around people because I don't want to get in that mindset of having all my homies around me." You, you know what I'm saying? Find out that your homies probably ain't homies, man. Honestly, yeah, well, you're gonna find yeah. out. You're gonna this is you're gonna find out right now on Friday within probably the first two weeks of being locked up. You're gonna find Back. out who really cares about you, dog. Facts. Real. And that with me changed my whole outlook on everybody. Knowing Did that it. nobody gave a shit about me except for my family and one homeboy. You know what I mean? One out of hundreds of people that I knew before I got locked oh. up. Really one with. Dude wrote me. You know what I mean? So you're gonna, you're, you're definitely gonna see a whole new aspect of life and people, man. And you're gonna have a different respect for the people that are there for you. You know what I mean? So, definitely. And, and so far, I under, I understand that because even with, I know the house arrest isn't like crazy because you, you think, oh, you still at home, but you, you see who's there. You know, when you can't go out to go meet these people or meet them on their time, you see who's there for you on your time. You know what I'm saying? And, you, that that's facts. I, I have nothing else to add to that, but till I experience it and I can put my two cents in, you know, because I've seen a little bit so far, but I try to see the 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 because I look for the best in people, man. Too many times, too many, and it's something in my heart that I know it shouldn't be, but I look for the good in everybody because that's what I want in me, you know. I want people, to, you know, to judge me when they see the tattoos all on my arms, all that. Or they hear my, my, a lot of people around here hear my history, my past, you know what I'm saying? And it gets uh, scared to affiliate with me. But when they have a conversation with me, they see that I'm open-minded, you know what I'm saying? I'm just, and that, that that's how, like, when it comes back to the whole friend circle thing, I think I'm, I'm going to restart. Not not saying I'm going to diss people and, and, you know, the people that I do music with, that's my family. That's my family. I got the, uh, a little crew, like three to four people I can count on my hand. But everybody else I was affiliated with, it was like this guy, I thought I was cool. This it's for the birds, man. Yeah, man. It's like, like I still chill with my homeboys, even though they they you know didn't hold me down for real. I can't right. hold that against them. But at the same time, that's the level of respect for them is nowhere near what I had before I got locked up. You know what I mean? But I still chit chat with them here and there. But but you uh, kind of look like side with like them, bro. Like yeah. and you situation because i remember like watching and what you got locked for that uh the fight situation right with the you with you said the dude you had poked it's done with right yeah yeah it's done with you, you poked the dude up right yeah and i'm like man like he, he really got a lot of time that just even watching your channel you know what i'm saying uh you, i see that you're real i see some other prison channels i ain't gonna go into that but <laughs> i We'll go there, but we we ain't gang gang with them. You feel me? That's all. <laughs> that's all I'm gonna yeah, say. Yeah, man. Hey, look. Well, damn, man. Look. Uh, Friday, man. I don't know if you can get someone on your Instagram or something to uh, 
message me and let me know exactly what happened because I'm sure the people that are going to watch this episode are really going to wonder how much time you got uh, all together. You know what I mean? Um, yeah. And I got my P.O. box in the description of all of my videos, man. Get your loved ones or whatever that's holding you down to, or you write it down. Yeah, and, uh, I'll take it with you in jail, man. Write me, and you know I'll write you back if you ever need a little something to eat or something, man. I might throw it your way. You know what I mean? Hey, man, I appreciate all, all I ask is for the love, but I appreciate any you know any support that is given. I appreciate that, man, for real. Yeah, dog. Don't you know? Uh, don't ever think that it's like a burden on me, man. I'm here to help. So uh, write down my information and make sure your loved ones tell me what happens, man. Uh, I got you. You know what I mean? Yeah, I definitely. Yo, I thank you, man. I appreciate it. Like I said, like I, my family is turned into I start watching you and then, you know, my, my girl, they're all behind me. Matter of fact, all watching up there, they're like, yeah. Is that, that, that everybody that's 23 and one, but yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, how y'all doing? Hey, you said how y'all doing? <laughs> That's what's up, yeah. man. Get on the step like yo. Like, looks like you got a good family, man. That's good. That's good. A lot yeah. of people don't even have that. You know what I mean? Just uh, another account, man. Just another blessing I got going. That and that's why I'm like, all I need is my family. I'm not trying to sound like one of them guys, like yo, I don't need. But in this current situation, right now, I need is you know people that are really out for my best interest. Cause I can't do nothing to help them in this situation. When I'm done, yeah, I'm willing to lend my arm, I'll give my shirt off my back. But in this situation, I can't like help people, you know. And I, that is, is beat. Cause I love it. I love being able to give back. I know that's right, man. Well, when you get out and start your own YouTube channel, channel, you'll be able to give back. <laughs> right, right. That's what I'm saying. I'm trying to get them, get them uh, followers up, man. Try to uh -huh. get on. I know that's right, man. But look, uh. Try to get like you. Hey, you get there. Probably go beyond me, man. You're gonna have eight. I'm not gonna say eight years, but you're gonna have a little bit of content coming with you, man. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna push the whole eight years on you. I don't, yeah, don't even get like the whole eight piece. But uh, like I said, man, to wrap it up, uh, just make yeah. sure one of your family members gets on your stuff or somehow contacts me. Let me know what happened, or you can write me or whatever the case is, man. But. I wish you the best of luck, dog. I, I can usually tell when people got a right mind, you know, mindset. And I think you got a good future ahead of you, dog, for real. You know what I mean? Yeah, man. Thank you. It really means a lot, you know. It means more than words can explain, brother. Thank you. All right. Go ahead and give your shout out to your uh, uh, little channel and uh, social media one more time before you go, man. Your music or whatever. I, yeah, everybody, you can follow me. I go, I'm a, you know, rapper, Epic Astro Living. You can follow me at Music Crave Entertainment. Music Crave ENT, you know, at that's YouTube, uh, Epic Astro Living, spelled exactly how it is on Instagram. You know, follow me uh, wherever, man. After, after this comes out, I'll try to uh, drop it in the comments too. So if anybody wants to see how to actually spell it, I'll drop it in the comments. But yeah, shout out to everybody that supported me and thank you all for listening. Thank you, Death, for giving me an opportunity to explain myself and uh just tell my a chance to tell my side of the story i really appreciate that and thank you man that's what's up man i salute to you bro and uh i appreciate man. you coming on the channel and i wish you the best of luck you know what i mean definitely i appreciate you man appreciate you and same to you with the family wish well-being for all and all that that's what's up dog you be easy out there all right man you gangster on that got you gang 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 dog. All right, yeah, man, what's help. up? Not much. Just chilling, getting ready to go to work. I know that's right, man. Uh, so what's your name, man? My name is Dylan. Uh, I'm from Salisbury, North Carolina. North Carolina. Dylan <laughs> from Salisbury, North Carolina. Man, the first the first uh, episode I did through this little uh, what was it, interview thing on Skype, his name was Dylan, too, man. So <laughs> two Dylans back right. to back. What are the odds of that? That's kind of crazy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so you got you got uh, what uh, street story, jail story, prison story? What uh, you got? Yeah, a little street story. Street <laughs> story. All right. And you don't mind me putting you on YouTube, do you? No, uh, this has all been took care of years ago. So oh, okay, okay. All right, man. Yeah. Let's hear it. I ain't, I haven't even. Uh, I think you sent me a rough draft of what you were gonna say, but I don't think I read it. <laughs> 
Uh, well, see, it started off. I was working on my car in, in my grandpa's shop, uh -huh. and uh, I mean, I used to be like in the like opiates and stuff, uh -huh. which I've been off of for about four years now. Four years, but That's um, good, man, congratulations. I, I appreciate it. Um, but this all kind of is because of all that, you know. Um, my buddy is hitting me up. Drug use. Four well, I mean, just like I don't know, it just he he got robbed for the drugs, you know. Uh huh. So um, he was hitting me up multiple times. Like I ignored it first couple times, and then finally, when I got done, I gave in. I hit him up. I was like, "Well, what's up, bro?" And um, he said he got robbed or whatever, yeah. and. That he was about to get jumped because he was gonna go over there and get his money back. Okay. So I gave in. I was like, "Well, I'm gonna go over with you, so you don't like get hurt too bad or whatever. Don't get messed up." So you're looking and, out for him. Yeah, trying you, to. You didn't really want to do it though, did you? I don't know. Not at all. Because <laughs> I, I knew I knew something was about to go down. Okay. Um. And he's like one of your closest so, friends. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And uh. So he gets there and first off his girlfriend's with him. So that was like, it was supposed to be just me and him riding off. So that was like a red flag right off the hand, okay. which it ended up, it ended up kind of working out for me because she kind of saved me. Okay. But, um, oh, that's good. Uh, so we get to the house, whatever. And when we get there, he had told me it was like a couple of dudes or whatever that robbed him. And, when we get there, it's like this family with kids and stuff, and I could just hear it from the door because uh -huh. we were just knocking on the door or whatever. Yeah. And then next thing I know, dude goes to his trunk, pulls like a little, I don't know if it was a 12 gauge, it was some kind of shotgun. Okay. Your your buddy goes to the trunk and pulls out a shotgun. Right. And you, I, I had no idea. You don't answer the door or nothing? No. And like we could, you could hear him in there talking, tell him, telling him to go away. They was about to call the cops and stuff. Oh, okay. Right away, I was I wasn't trying to have no part of it, but then he goes to the trunk and gets the gun out, and he point like he point he pointed it not like at my not any, I any vitals, but he pointed it towards my way. Okay. And it's like help me. He's like help me get this grill because they had like at you was it because you were kind of like man I'm not doing this crap. Yeah, because I was like bro I'm I'm about to start walking. <laughs> yeah. Because I. I mean, I, I that was I hadn't been in no trouble back then or nothing, so oh, I mean, that was my kind of issue with it. But um, so they weren't answering, so he he's like, "Well, I'm gonna get something for my money back." So he's like, "Help me get this." Cause his girlfriend's sitting in the the car the whole time. Okay. And uh, so she just sits there, and um, he he we got the grill or whatever. Oh, y'all so, took, took a grill. Yeah, because okay. it was like a five, it was a five hundred dollar brand new grill, and okay. like I, right off, the porch? I, yeah, and right off, I was like just thinking how stupid that was. I was like, <laughs> yeah, but look, I was when, you're, like, when you're addicted to drugs, you know, five hundred dollar grill could get you, you know, your next fix. You know what I mean? Right. That's probably what he was thinking, man. But that's crazy. So he turns the gun on you, and try pretty much pressures you to help him steal the grill off the porch. Yeah, okay. and pretty much didn't give me an option. So, um, like the whole time, truck? yeah, a little SUV. Like the the man, the the tailgate wasn't even shut. So, <laughs> oh my God. I mean, it was pretty obvious. Okay, okay. So the grill, so, you put y'all put the grill into the SUV, and it's sticking kind of halfway out a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, it was it was it was pretty obvious. Like okay, once okay. we got. But um, hey, don't ever be ashamed now, man. I've got the craziest stories. I've done the stupidest stuff in the world, man. You'd be surprised, you know what I mean? So, it's just life yeah. experiences, man. You know, no need to be ashamed, but you know, you can look back and laugh at these things, you know. All right. I mean, I'm way better off now than I was because of it. That's I mean, good, man. that's good. Yeah, but uh, like so, we started heading off, whatever, and I don't know. If this guy was just like pumped up, if he was on on 
using right then if he was already on something. Uh -huh. But he still had the gun when he was driving off. And he shot one time going out. I don't know if he was just trying to seem tough. I don't, I don't know what this dude was thinking. He shot but, out the window? Um, yeah, just up in the air. Okay. For, for some odd reason. I, I could not tell you. But um, so after that, he puts, he puts it down. We take off. Crazy thing is, my my adrenaline was going so high. We literally passed my driveway, and I was just thinking about not getting caught. I, I didn't even say, "Drop me off." Yeah. I don't I don't know what was going through my head, but uh, so we get to his driveway, and literally like the last road we passed that you could turn on to the road we were on, uh -huh. a cop pulling out, and so we get to his driveway. And that's when they pull us over, flashing the lights. Uh, of course, they had heard he had a gun and he had shot it. Oh, so someone so, called the cops. Oh, the people at the trailer did, yeah. Okay, so they did they they never came out the trailer at all. They just kind of called the cops from uh, inside. And, and thank God they didn't. Thank God he didn't open that door because I would have shot him, huh? It. I, they told me I would have had armed robbery and I would have. I would oh, still be man. in. Jail. Yeah, that would have been bad, dude. Thank if he would have opened that. So, of course, they draw our, their guns right away. Uh -huh. so I'm, like, in the back seat, and this is when his girlfriend, like, his his girlfriend, I I, I had nothing to die. I didn't really even know even know her. Um, She points, at, she looks back at me, and she's like, this ain't on you. She said, this ain't on me or you, really. So, I mean, you tell them what you're going to tell them, but I'm going to tell them what really happened. Okay. And so, so the girl when the doesn't even know you that well, but she's immediately saying, you know, she's seen everything that happened and she's trying to look out for y'all. Yeah. Yeah. And uh turns out the people that called the cops even told told them that too. So that's what saved me a little bit. Oh, so they kinda heard him threatening you to help. Mm hmm. Oh yeah. yeah the okay, that's good, man. That's good they heard yeah. that. So I mean we were sitting there for probably an hour or two, like just getting questioned and stuff. Um, I, I didn't want to tell him nothing because I mean I just told him I helped him move the grill. I didn't want to tell him anything else. Yeah. Because I mean that's, that just wasn't how I was gonna go down. Um, but we we got lucky. The gun turned up legal. Um, none of us actually went to jail. Somehow they called um their uh, whoever was higher up and with the circumstances they didn't take me to jail because they had the witness from the the crime scene or whatever that told them i wasn't really i was forced to do it so but um yeah like i said the gun was legal so they i think they took it i'm pretty sure they did but um i ended up getting a little bit of community service and life skills classes which Man, those things ain't no fun, but Life I mean, it, yeah, it's like it's kind of whack. It's like just learning to write check, like learn how to live on on the streets, pretty oh, much. Okay. okay, it's crazy, man. What what was your friend saying? Do you did you hear anything about your friend? Was he trying to put the blame on anybody? Uh, he was just saying I helped him. He didn't do it by himself, Damn. pretty much. He, That's I mean, up. he didn't. I don't think he tried. Guy? He passed away. Oh man. Drug use? Yeah. I I don't know the circumstances actually, and like I mean, I mean I I kind of respected it because I mean I don't know if like the family wanted to put it out there or whatever. So yeah, I mean I kind of stopped looking into it, but I mean it is what it is. I mean that's why I kind of had to straighten myself up, you know. Yeah, man, damn right. Well, four years clean, man. That's a huge start. You know what I mean? Yes, sir. Thank I mean, you. You're doing great, man. Just keep it up. And, uh, you know, be lucky that that stuff happened to you at a young age. Might, you know, you might have went to prison behind that freaking grill. You know what I mean? <laughs> right. And that's that's the thing. Like, back then, I think it's went up since then. But back then, uh, Grand Larceny was, like, right at 500. And the grill was, like, four ninety nine ninety five or something. <laughs> that uh, five cents counts, don't it? <laughs> Yeah, they round it up, man. In Virginia, grand larceny is two hundred dollars or more. So wow, it's, it's like a lot lower than five hundred. So.
Yeah, I, I, I think it's like, stole the, uh, like I stole some Bush Gardens tickets from someone one time. Got a grand larceny. <laughs> Oh yeah, I think it. Um, I think it went up to like a thousand here, maybe. Oh, I, I could be wrong. They're saving but, people from a lot of felonies. Virginia needs to right. do something like that. Right. No, oh, but uh, I mean, I appreciate you letting me tell my story and everything, man. Hey, anytime, man. Anytime, man. This stuff is interesting, you know. Hearing people's stories from uh, their early, earlier years, or you know, just going to prison or jail. This is this is what I wanted. You know, I wanted my audience to, uh, you know. Tell a little bit about their selves, you know, so yeah. just uh, don't get, uh, you know, caught up in the mix of drugs anymore, man. You know, keep keep clean Four years. It's a long time. Um, but I do appreciate you coming on the show, man. You know I, I mean? appreciate it, too. Um, but I just want to say, like, it does get better if you put the time in. Yeah, definitely does. You, you, if you were to give any kind of advice to people that might be. Uh, trying to uh quit or anything along those lines what do you think is the best advice man um uh -huh. is life better sober yeah i mean it's it's hard but it's better yeah like my advice is just like for me i'd always just get real like mad and fly off the handle and my advice is just like try to stay calm and just know that self-medicating to make yourself feel better like it's just gonna hurt you in the long run i know that's right man well i appreciate that advice you know i take it very serious because you know my brother passed away from heroin overdose and i really don't know too much about it i mean i've been I, you know i've done dabbled in drugs but i've never really had a serious addiction so it's hard for me to uh put myself on you know that type of level you know what i mean mm. and losing my brother from it man it just you know sometimes it takes something like that for you to understand what other people are going through you know it's hard man it's hard it's hard life mm -hmm. you know, i'm sorry for you. Yeah. it's all good man it, you know <clears throat> we all pass away you know sooner or later we all pass away some leave earlier some leave later but that is the way of life and you know yeah. Everybody needs I mean, to bring I, this, you know, this stuff needs, you know, drug use and all that. There's a lot of people on my channel that don't use drugs and they don't know anything about it, but at the same time they need to know because I'm sure their family members are addicted to something in one way, shape or form, you know what I mean? Yeah. And um I might not have like went to jail or prison over this, but those drugs like they're their own prison. Yeah. I made a video just the other day about how your mind can be the ultimate prison. You know what I mean? It can. I mean, there's a lot mm. of people dealing with depression and all kinds of stuff, fears and anxiety. The mind is a powerful thing, man. And if you can control it at least 80%, control it at least 80%, you know, uh, you, know you can ch make a huge difference in the way you look at life and live life, man. The mind is a powerful thing. You know what I mean? Yes, sir, it is. Always stay on that positive note, man. That's all you got to do. Always stay on that positive. And you know, it's all man, right. it, does, it makes stuff happen. Yeah, I know that's right, man. Well, I appreciate you coming on the show once again, man. I salute to you, bro. I appreciate it. Congrats on the success, bro. Hey, thank you, man. I wish you nothing but success as well in the future. All right. I appreciate it, brother. All right. You be easy, man. Yes, sir. You too.